Swinburne University of Technology. Typical week's pretty good. I uh, usually have somewhere between 20 to 25 contact hours a week. So I went to Swinburne TEF and I did a two, two years advanced diploma where I did the basics of engineering, electrical engineering and electronic engineering. So that was the, f that basically covered the first year of my bachelor's. So after my advanced diploma, I went straight to my bachelor's and I got one year exempted as well. First year university students, they all, they meld them all together in one. So civil, mechanical, electrical, and all of, everyone's doing the same classes. So you do get to meet and interact with a lot of people. I did, uh, I did power electronics and power engineering, power systems engineering and then for my electives I chose RF electronics and DSP, that's digital image processing. So there's a lot of theory going on but at the same time it's very practically based where you do actually have to know what you're doing and be able to take the equations on the board and put it into real life. For Engineers is a program where we get first year students mainly and then we help them around to know about the campus, show them around and help them with their timetable. Outside of university the campus lifestyle is very very fun, it's very enjoyable, I'd highly recommend moving on campus. Out of the other universities I would prefer Swinburne because the industry they like Swinburne because of the work experience and the more practical knowledge that Swinburne gives to students. I'd highly recommend IBL to anyone and everyone who's actually thinking about it. Uh, getting that one year in actual industry gave me a very hands-on and a big insight as to what's going to happen when I graduate and finish university. I like the atmosphere in Swinburne, so it was good. Everyone here is highly knowledgeable. They all know what they're talking about and it's very easy to approach them at any point, even if it's 10 minutes before an exam starts. This has been a Swinburne production.